Hey y'all, I am at the JL Ranch with a brand new, a brand new baby that is here. And uh, we're here with a beautiful sunset on a Friday night. Lester and I just went to dinner oh, and I had to come meet the new babe. Yeah, she doesn't have a name yet. And her gender was just revealed today. She's so pretty. Let's talk about her. First, let's talk about how Jezebel makes carbon copies of herself. Cause holy moly. What a sweet baby. Aww. Second, let's talk about how good of a mama Jezebel is. Jezebel has been a loner since she came to us. Lester's always thought that somehow she appeared to be different. Oh, go ahead and eat, little one. She appeared to be different to the herd. She's never really fit in. And then last year, she gave birth down in the woods. This year, she gave birth here at the JL. And she still finds herself to be at a distance from the herd. For a while, I, I felt really sorry for her. Oh, look at that little baby baby. But I started to realize that that was her choice. And that was her finding her own peace by being alone. And, um, oh, careful little one, your mama's, okay. <laughs> I think that she chose her own peace. And that while she watches her herd and she'll, she'll be in the same vicinity, for instance, they're all up here. They're not like all out back, but she gives herself space. I think there's a lot to be said about that. That little bitty baby is two days old and is running behind her mama right now. Jezebel's a very independent woman. And I love that about her. This is the sweetest thing to watch, y'all. This little teeny tiny baby keeping up with her mama. And her mama's like, okay, it's, it's almost time for bed. We're gonna go, we're gonna go nestle up. Aww. And she waits for her. If you ever told me that I would be ooing and eyeing over Longhorns, I would have laughed at you and said no. But I've seen more emotion in this herd of Longhorns and more human characteristics or or maybe maybe humans have have a little bit more animal in them than we like to think but i have seen such amazing things in this little herd of longhorns i've watched santiana get distraught when her baby was being weaned i watched her try to steal her daughter's baby because she just demanded that she was a better mother. I've watched Tex be sad when his ladies left. And now I'm actually about to watch another baby go greet this new baby. I've watched babysitters, which I had no idea about. I had no idea that mama cows would find babysitters for their babies and go off and graze while their babies stayed put. There's just such amazing things that happen in this tiny little world of ours here. And I feel so blessed to be able to see it unfold. I actually felt guilty for a while because Ruby and Danny were raised 
by Lester and I, bottle fed. And I felt for so long that they missed out and still wonder if one day they'll have the instincts to be mothers of their own babies because they didn't have that opportunity for a mama longhorn to be their mama. Well, run little one, go back to your mama. That's Ruby Sue, that's not your mama. Gracie and Lord Grayson. But then I see that sit out here and I watch Ruby get all close to Jezebel and try really hard to pay attention. And I hope that she's taking it all in. Lord Grayson wants to play. Also, watch him, watching baby Longhorns play. Never in a million trillion years did I think that I would be standing out here watching and waiting for that. But it's some of the cutest things. I'm sorry that I'm moving so much. I'm trying to, trying to walk closer so we can all see, but as the as it gets darker, I'm a little nervous about what we won't get to see, so I keep pausing. Hey Tex. Hey Waylon. Where's Gary at? Oh, Gary's way up there. Hey, Gary. Oh, the wagon's out. It's almost time to get her refilled. Hey, sweet Pearl. How are you, Mama? I know you're next. I know you are. Funny how you're kind of standing back from everybody too, huh? I don't quite think you're ready yet, though. We love you so much. That sky is on fire right now. So beautiful. <sighs> Let's see what we can see now. I got up a little bit closer. Lord Grayson's out there. Gracie's over here waiting for Lord Grayson. I think that's Ruby Sue all up in Jezebel's business. Oh, Lord Grayson laid down. Oh my gosh. Is Ruby supposed to be the babysitter? I never thought I'd see that day. Oh. Look at that sweet little girl. We got lots of talking going on tonight. It was a very hot day today. I was actually pretty worried about how things would go. Considering a brand new baby in a hundred degree heat, it's pretty hard for them to regulate their temperature in the beginning. But it looks like they did pretty well actually. get up here just a little bit closer. I see a Sadie girl. <laughs> it's getting so dark y'all. It's actually more dark in real life than it is in the camera. The camera's picking up on as much light as it possibly can. We will finish out this video with watching. Here I'm gonna set my phone down. There we go. This beautiful new baby and her mama and her big old babysitter. Oh, she's trying to find her little legs. So sweet. It's day two of her life comes to a close. Actually, she's only she's only about 30 hours old out here running after her mama. I wish I could see her eat one more time. Mama kind of wanted to get back. Here's something real interesting though. 
Look at Pearl going all the way off by herself. Now, I don't feel like Pearl's ready just looking at her udder. But then again, she's laying down all by herself right now. That's kind of interesting. Who's yelling? Who has so much to say? Y'all, thank you for taking this little walk with me. The street lights came on while we were out here. That means y'all better get home because I'm going to too. I love y'all so very much. Welcome to the world, little one. We love you.